Paul McCartney is back in the spotlight thanks to a new docuseries and this incredible book. Uh, but he's not the only McCartney taking over television screens. The daughter of the Beatles legend, Mary McCartney, is back now with the season two of her own series, and it's on Discovery Plus. Mary serves it up, and the author, chef, and photographer joins us now. So let me just say, Hello. I'm a massive fan of your father, so I apologize. I am too. For the billions and billions <laughs> of fans that have made your life more difficult through the years. But uh, also a big fan of yours. Thank you. Uh, talk. Can we talk first? about Instagram yes. and your photography because you know we grew up seeing your mom's photography and I just think it's so cool Thank that you. that legacy lives on or her legacy lives on through you yeah I love Instagram because it's so it is instant so it's right. a great way of communicating with people and I love the way you can sort of stay in touch with people globally so yeah so so talk about your your, your portraits uh, I uh, and that's my, you know, you're talking about my mum. I grew up watching her take photographs, mm -hmm. so I thought everybody had an eye to take pictures, so I never thought to do it as a career. And then right. one day I was looking at one of my best friend's holiday pictures and they were awful. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe I can actually, not yes. everyone can do this. So I phoned my mum and I was like, I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the leap and become a professional photographer. And, you know, it's quite um, challenging you know, when you pick up a camera. I don't know, because you guys are so comfortable here. But if I pick up a camera, it's often it changes the atmosphere. Right. So, you know, what I love about it is, you know, collaborating, putting someone at ease. Right. It's a lot like the cooking show. It's sort of the same sort of sensibility. It's like cooking for someone you know, making them happy, photographing them. Make them my style is mm. to not go in and overpower, but, right. you know, I love, I love going and in, being invited into people's homes and yeah. taking I, pictures of them. But I love that you touched on the lyrics book, Dad's lyrics book, because yeah. I have a few pictures in that as well. So, you know, everyone loves my dad, but I, I kind of love as I've grown up, we sort of collaborate more together, yeah. so. What's so cool yeah. about the lyrics book is, yeah. your dad is always, you know, and I can't imagine being yanked at like that throughout your entire life and then asking questions. And you can tell he's kind of like, OK, I've answered this like eight billion times. No, yeah, no. Well, when, da, no, da, da. no, but, no but, but here's the lyrics, though, with the lyrics. Oh, the lyrics isn't But what like I was going to say, yeah. usually be like, well, what happened when a meteor fell in your house? Well, you know, it's just a lovely day. Yeah. Uh, but in this <laughs> I like book, that impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> in this book, I've been, it's really scary. I've been listening yeah. to it my whole life. But in this book, he talks about yeah. his dear dad yeah. and his mom, who you're yeah. named after. And it really is, it's extraordinarily it's revealing and it's honest. beautiful. It's very honest and intimate. And you know he's a guest on one of the episodes of the show. Awesome. I do my celebration meal for him. Well, of what course we I eat. know, because we watch your show. <laughs> Good guess. So that's really cute, because going back to what you're saying about the lyrics, is like, if we go back to, I made Yorkshire puddings, which like a, a full mm -hmm. roast dinner, so we have like a plant protein instead of mm -hmm. a meat protein, right. gravy, roast potatoes, everything. But then there are these, you call, I think you call them popovers, they're Yorkshire puddings. Yeah. And so his mum would always keep serve them as a dessert with golden syrup. Right. Like we have them with so gravy good. with the main meal. Yeah. So I always hold back one Yorkshire pudding for dad. Well, I'm excited about your recipes because they're vegan. Yes. And if you're experimenting and you want to eat less meat, mm. it's hard to get started and having good recipes can be such a help. But I'm fascinated. Your sister is one of my favorite designers, although I don't have much of her work, but <laughs> I am an admirer. And she also does not use any animal yeah. skin. And you are also a committed vegan. What is it about how you were raised that gave you such an awareness of animal welfare? Um, well, we were brought up as a vegetarian family and it wasn't like rammed down our throats. It was something we enjoyed. So when mum and dad sat down, they were like, look, kids, we don't want this. Mum, mum particularly didn't want to cook right. meat anymore, but mum and dad made the decision to together and so they were like we're not going to have meat in the house anymore and because as a family we talked about food we talked we thought about how the something gets to your plate we grew up enjoying it rather mm -hmm. than where I come in and why I did the cooking show um, is as you say people do meat free Monday or they want to reduce their carbon footprint or you know for the environment or for ethical reasons and they're like but I haven't cooked this way what do I do and I've grown up that way and sustained it because I really genuinely enjoy it because you know, like you say, it's something Stella takes it into her fashion. It, it's very much ingrained in our family ethos. So, you know, 
I'm proud of mum and dad that they didn't make us do it. We do it because we want to. So I think that so makes cool. it more kind of genuine and less sort of, I never like want to be that preachy person of like, you can't eat what right. you want. It's like, you need to do it because you want to, right? It's obviously an animated feature of the new, of the, your show. The new season starts out and beyond fit members of your family, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, a significant guest. How do you decide what you want to cook with them? Like, how does that collaboration come about? And how uh, have you found people who have not perhaps been vegan, yeah. like really into it while doing it with you? Yeah. Well, Oprah and Reese aren't vegan, but, and a lot of my friends aren't, aren't, but what I'll do is I'll think like if I'm cooking for you, I'll sort of get a feeling of the flavors that you like, have you in mind, imagine you coming over to my place and then I'll sort of just sort of think of flavors for you. So with Oprah, it was about entertaining and I was imagining her inviting friends around in a bit of a cocktail party. So it's all bite-sized things. But Reese Witherspoon actually had messaged me saying I want to learn a family style meal that I can put down on the table. So we did like a big pasta, you know, pasta dish. And so your dad. I, I think of that person and get inspired by them. Sounds like an invitation. It is yeah. an invitation. Your dad's episode, though, which is the first of the second season, he actually yeah. shows his dream. Yeah. The uh, Macarena or whatever. Macarita. Macarita. Because it's it, a margarita. Margarita. With, with a, a twist. And by the way, I noticed just, okay, you get the shot. I'm like, okay, that's great. But then another orange another liqueur. Shot. And then another. Yeah. And then he helpfully, he helpfully tells everybody, only drink one. But yeah. you've had more than one, right? Yeah, it's one, one and two, if you're eating with it, is yeah. the right amount, but no more than that. It, it packs a punch, but it's so good. And what, I, and what was really sweet with the show, because I said to him, do you want to come on? And he was like, you know, let me think about it. Yeah. But when we did it, I kind of kept it, I kind of, we set it up like we would at home, so the lighting's quite soft. Right. And the meal, I'm sort of like, he tests all of the things that I'm making for our Christmas dinner. Right. And then, as we do at home, he's sort of making the cocktail kind of while I'm finishing off cooking. Right. But it's, it's chilled because all of it's make ahead. Well, so I'm just heating it all up. I've made it all before. Yeah which I, is my nice, kind of style. Is, I love, I mean, the show is full of shortcuts and make ahead. Because yeah, I want to hang out with my people. Good, yeah, that's yeah. my kind of, because when you have a no dinner stress. party, you don't want to be in the kitchen still finishing up. You want to be able to have your cocktail and hang yeah. out. Jonathan and I hate when we're in the that's kitchen. Such a, and everybody's <laughs> like hanging around. Yeah, it's just awful. Awesome. We would get you working in the kitchen. Just like, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's a group collaboration. Yeah, but I did want to talk about the atmosphere. Yeah. Because uh, it, it really was, it was such a home atmosphere. And your dad, you almost forget for a second that yeah. he's like, you know, yeah. our century's Mozart. Because he's just your proud dad. And it's so cute. But the whole thing just has this very mellow, homey feel did to it. Did you get that feeling? I really proud did. Dad. I like that. I, I did. Especially at, at the end when he walked out, he's like, okay, <laughs> I'm done here. You know, but I, you, you, you ask him a lot of cool questions. Yeah. The three people that he wanted to have dinner with, yeah. I thought that was neat, which people will love on the show. But yeah. your plan ahead, though. Yeah. Plan it's it's like a brilliant concept because you showed the, but, and then you put it in the freezer. And, yeah. then, and do you know what was sweet? Like exactly what, going back to what you're saying is we kind of set it up so that it would be, I want people to enjoy any food experience that I'm involved in. So, you know, whether I cook for you or want you to enjoy, I'm feeding you. Right. But we made the setting so that dad, literally we were chatting and cooking and then I'd start talking to the camera and he's like, he forgot that we were on the set. Exactly. And I was like, it was so cute. And then he started talking to the camera. So yeah, mission accomplished. The only time there was a problem was when your dad had to actually get the orange. <laughs> and he's like, wait, I that's because like, Mika always, yeah. uh, my wife always goes, bzz, Yeah, bzz, that's what he does. Bzz. And and so Mary gives, and, and it's like, we had like it's a like beautiful, I have to do this. This is like so like glass blown, yeah. you know, the glass <laughs> yeah, yeah, one. Like yeah. you, and so he's like, I'm used to, and I said to them, this is going to be a problem because he's like, he's an electric yeah. squeezer guy. Well, exactly. I wanted to, I wanted to talk <laughs> that about That was funny, that bit. Yeah, it was. He was like tipping it on the table. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, hold on. By the way, I saw while he was doing that, I saw some very good edits. So suddenly yeah, he's, he's going like closely. this. <laughs> That's a little. Somebody's going like this, and I'm going, he's not going to get enough. And then the next second you go, and now we pour in the 12 gallons of orange juice. And That's it works perfect. so funny. It's very smooth. But I want to talk about, though, your mom uh, and how she's influenced this and how proud she would be. Because I remember 
first time I got to see your dad alive was like in 89. It was like uh, Flowers in the Dirt tour. Oh, yeah. And I had, had, she was there. Yeah, and she was there. So Did you I, feel her lava lamps? Uh, yes, yes. I, I, so it's the first time I'd get a chance to see your, your dad, who really was my biggest influence growing up on anything. And so I go to the, I go to the store, and they've got the McCartney store, and I'm like, okay, Paul McCartney earmuffs. I'll get this. Oh, Paul McCartney clock. <laughs> and I get all of this stuff, and I'm carrying it out. But Did you really I, get earmuffs? No, I mean, whatever, I, whatever, I will just tell you this. <laughs> whatever they were selling, I bought it. But then I saw your mom's cookbook. Mm. And I put down my hamburger, and I said, well, this is interesting. And, <laughs> and yeah. you, what, what was at that point pretty revolutionary still Amazing. is so many. My 13-year-old son last week, who's this mm -hmm. big strapping baseball mm -hmm. player, he comes home from school, he goes, Dad, I think I want to be a vegan. And I, I just what? thought, and what I thought was, wow. first of all, how cool. And he wanted to do it, first of but all. But also, because, how great for you to say how cool, because in the past, it was like, how are you going to get your protein? How are your parents, you know? Well, exactly. It's such a, oh, that's so amazing. But, the but, times have changed yeah. so much. Well, that's what I was going to say. From 89 to now, mm. the fact that my southern, athletic, baseball-loving yeah. son, and he wanted to do it. For animal welfare, mm -hmm. he wanted to do it for his health, mm -hmm. and he wanted to do it for the environment. Yeah. But so your mom would be so proud to see your show, wouldn't she? And mm -hmm. how this is all but sort of mainstream. Like Lewis Hamilton is, you know, the Formula One racer. Sure, he's yeah. a he's vegan. There are a lot more athletes now. Right. Um, the guy who won Wimbledon tennis, he's vegan. But well, that's so great. Are you? Do you know what? Are you going to go to the cooking show for ideas? I, I, I actually am. So, but, but this is what I've wanted to do for a long yeah. time. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm like some yeah. meat and potatoes guy. But there's no judgment. But here. what I wanted, thank you very much. I, I mean, appreciate that. <laughs> but what I've always wanted to do, and what I always thought would be a really cool start, and I want to encourage everybody that's watching mm. to do this as well, you don't have to jump all the way in. Mm. But you always have been pushing Meatless Mondays. Yeah. And I always thought, okay, well, that's cool. If I could just figure out how to do it on Monday, yeah. and then I could do it on a Friday. Yeah. And now I have a 13-year-old son who's going to require it. So talk about Meatless Mondays, too. Well, okay. it's all about me and Stella and Dad started promoting it about 11 years ago. And it, we love it because it's a really simple idea. It's a community. It's a word of mouth thing. It's like, stop eating meat on a Monday. And by doing that, you reduce your carbon footprint. I think it's a, like not driving a car for a whole, as much as driving a car for a whole month. Wow. Just reducing it by one day for the year. Wow. So yeah. it makes a big difference. Well, and, and the way your show helps is it gives Thanks. people ideas. But for people that haven't seen the show, talk about what they're going to see. Um, in terms of planning meals out. Yeah, in each episode I do four recipes and at the end of the episode I have a great guest that I cook with. And, you know, I'm a people person and I'm a portrait photographer as well, so right. that gives me a chance to interact with people. Mm -hmm. um, but the recipes are plant-based, they're really quick, they're simple, they're make-ahead, and I use as many shortcuts as I can, so... Everything's, you know. We like shortcuts. But as hearty yeah. and delicious and satisfying as possible as well. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having thank me. You. Before we nice leave, though, we you. need. have we figured out what we call her dad? Because I asked, is it Sir Paul? And she says, well, that's a little... He actually it's... was given another honor after... After that. The uh, commander so, of honor. So we need to come in. sort of... Commander, yeah, sir. It's one above a sir. <laughs> sir is not good enough. Yeah, no, it's not. No, I'll be the first. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree. But we just call him Paul. All right. Well, uh, the new episodes of Mary McCartney Serves It Up are available now on Discovery Plus. Mary, thank you so much. Thank you so it much. is great to have you here. Thank you. And, thank you. Thank and we will prepare in the Scarborough household for Meatless Mondays. Yes. My son Jack thanks you. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.